What is up guys, Poldu here, welcome back to the final Valkyria Chronicles 4 video. We've made it through the entire story, we've made it through all the DLC, every expert, uh, well, not expert, that was part of the DLC, every hard and challenge skirmish, we did all of the squad stories, all of the extra episodes that you unlock at, uh, in post-game. And uh, behind the scenes, I have done every achievement possible. So when we finish this map, we will have achieved the Platinum Trophy as like another extra cap. But it is time to get the true ending to the game. And that, of course, we did the uh, Steamy Ceasefire uh, interlude last time. And that unlocks a little, the, the last page of Chapter 13. Which is a nice little heartfelt scene with Riley and Claude. And that unlocks the hard version of the final battle here. I don't know how much of it is gonna be different. This is it. Our last mission. But uh we're just gonna we're gonna get it going. Centurion has been set to detonate. Lieutenant Miller, we need you to aboard the ship and deactivate the A2 bomb. Yes, I don't know if any of the uh, mid-chapter dialogue is going to be any different. The wind conditions is the exact same, seemingly. It's opening, yes, yes. We're gonna do the same strat we did when the first time. Um, two turns pass, I think that was normal. Or did you get more turns the first time? I don't know, two turns to get Riley over to uh, to where she needs to be. So that's all fine and dandy. Kind of um, but I have, you know, like the, <laughs> the like MVP squad of like favorites and whatnot set up here between like the DLC characters. We got Crimea, we got Isara. We could completely blow this out of the water. And like, it's supposed to be hard, but like, I don't think it's really going to be. So I'm just gonna have fun with it. We're gonna, of course, place down like our main units, get all the points we can. So Minerva, Lock and load. Raz, I've got Kai, this. and then I have the points on Crystal, but actually I'm going to reassign. I need to mess with equipment anyway. Um, so who's gonna be our our person? I don't think Crimea is not gonna take out the tank. Her versus armor is not very high. Um, we could do Isara again. I kinda wanna use Louv. Artillery burst. What does that do? Increasing anti-personal anti-tank attack power. I might do that. Extra power. Stall shot. I was like, anything anti-tank attack power oh, when HP falls. I, that, no. Increasing damage dealt by grenade blasts. Let's use Luke. So we're gonna grab the highest versus armor that we own. Currently it's that, I'm just gonna scroll. Okay, he's even higher. Oh, who has that? Who has that equipped right now? Oh, I think Riley does. That was what we got from the Expert Skirmishes DLC. Just put a normal Sanders on. There we go. There we go. Um, and do I have... This adds 30 range. Where is like the telescope stuff? Here they are. Oh, I'm using all of them. Okay, plus 30 range, good enough. Uh, probably not even really needed. And we're going to assign Luf as the leader here. It's not like I would disobey an order, dumbass. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna place Luf. I won't waste your time. And then we have three slots just to have fun, so let's throw down Silvaria. Preparations complete. Uh, let's do... Um... I 
feel like I do need an engineer just in case. Those good good old Olar. Here we go. And I want to place crime area, but I feel like that's kind of unnecessary. And I I don't know. That's three grenadiers being placed. So let's place Kiara. Time to hunt. Yeah. This this is this should be good. I look forward to this. This should be fun. You're cleared for deployment, Squaddy. Please, let's end this once and for all. This might be our final battle. Squaddy, e, move out and destroy that submarine. Still skulking about, are you? Why are you meddling with our noble experiment? What is your goal here? Where's the logic in your actions? Why do you always, always, always try to measure things by your own metrics? How illogical, how unproductive, how despicably regressive! Understand my genius, you Neanderthals, you troglodytes, you knuckle-dragging Luddites. Heretics like you don't even deserve to be burned by the sapphire flames of progress. Be gone with you. Leave this holy sanctuary at once. If Angie reaches critical mass, she'll explode. I will not let that happen. Cover me, Claude. I'll board the Centurion and keep her from detonating. The reaction's already started. Can you stop it? It should be possible. No, I'll make it possible. Trust me, I'm a scientist. <sighs> okay, I'll get you to the Centurion. Please, get Angie out of there. Dr. Miller's on the job. Okay, so seemingly none of the dialogue has changed, but I'll, I'm gonna just let it all run through, just in case. Um, now the one thing I do know about this map is everything is now a paragon. Yeah, look at that. We have paragons. Um, apparently the enemy layouts change as well, but nothing that I can really notice. Um, but... Down here, fortify treads on Dan. This is an order. Watch the shots. Defend yourself against ground fire. Because I don't know where all the Gren grenadiers are. Like I have a good idea as where they are in the first map because I can see them. But if there's any, you know, hidden elsewhere. I won't know about them. All right. Uh, wait, I was like, did I not place Kai? No, here's Kai. Oh wait, does she is she still set up for the expert skirmish? Does she have? No, she has the three shot. Okay, I was like, does she have the super, like yeah, anti tank still? No, thankfully. Okay. Uh. Enemy sighted. Oh. Not anymore. I was like, in hindsight, I probably didn't need to use the, um... The fortified treads. Because I can use Kai and take out didn't take the much. main grenadiers. That was but like I said, Another just being safe. I hate how often this procs after you attack. Now advancing. But the fortified treads, like, taking these out will help Riley at the very least. 
Yes, yes, Mr. Paragon Boy. There. That eagle eye helping out. Too easy. Target eliminated. Keep up the good work. Okay. And again, see? Right. It's after the fact. Even though Raz is, you know, on the map with us. Oh, not deploy. Okay. I think we're good. So let's get it going. Pick up Riley. Be on our way. Found him. Found him. This engineer, I'm pretty sure, isn't normally here. I know there's typically an engineer. Oh, okay, he's a trooper now. I think he's normally an engineer. I'll take him down, though. Just so I don't have to deal with him whenever I bring Loof up here. Yeah. There they are. Found them. Found them. Okay, I haven't heard any grenades oh, firing off. Oh, look at that. I don't think that was there before. That tank mine. They knew. I need ammo. They no. knew. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. There's also a sniper sitting here waiting to interception fire Riley. Let's get rid of you. All right. Nothing shooting at me right now. So we're safe to take the time. Come on. Kind of get this guy out of the way. Even got the boost. All right. Well done. And that should be uh, that should be Enemy it. Let's wipe them out. I know that guy's shooting, but it shouldn't matter. Everyone, do your best out there. Yeah. With the sniper. Oh, are you kidding me, Riley? Right. What the fuck? Okay, then. I made it to the Centurion. Heading for the reactor. Go! You can do this. I believe in you. Claude! Miles, evasive maneuvers! What's taking so long? Destroy them, now! I'm trying to conduct an experiment! Even if Riley defuses the bomb, the war won't end until we end him. All right, everyone, we finished this. Here and now. Squad E, advance. All right, giant tank destroyed, and it's 10 turns instead of the full 20. All right. Well, I could just save all the points I have right now. Uh, but... Well, hold on. Let's, let's do this. I'm gonna use my command with Minerva. Grab Loof. And just, just get set up over here. Assuming that the tank still appears over here on turn two. If he goes to a different spot on turn two, well, we'll just have to adjust on the fly, I suppose. But all right. We have four more points to have fun. So, uh, we have Silvaria here in her quote unquote swimsuit, like fishnet, like, I, I don't know. But I unlocked it, I paid money for the DLC, I was going to equip it. But, as in, a, in Valkyria fashion, we have ridiculous amounts of HP. I don't even know where I'm going. I can go and cap this, I suppose. Oh wait, no she can't. That's, that's the one, like, caveat. They cannot capture anything. Huh. 
Goodbye, Lancer. Uh, is there anything else I really want to do? I was like, I forgot I can't cap anything, so I should probably just save the last two points. I'll just throw Salvari out here. If they want to use her as a meat, or like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just target her, make her a meat shield. Show you. We can, but also, like, Kiara. Hello. That thing explode. We got this, uh, this guy sitting right here. I probably can't. You know, this is no. I was like, this is an anti-tank crossbow thing. <laughs> oh my god. You missed. Come on, please. That's upsetting. That is upsetting. Alright, whatever. There was an attempt. Oh yeah, it takes two points to use Silvaria as well. You know what? Who needs the extra points? Not me. Probably me. That's fine. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> I'm just trying to dunkle your face. I don't... I don't see what's so difficult about that. How dare you defy Al and me? Okay, is he... He actually just shot at Salvaria. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know that she's actually doing anything. But it's cool that she's going off anyway. Like, I don't know if she's actually damaging any of the guns. Because she's using the Gatling fire. Which I think is akin to, like, just anti-personnel. I don't think it has a very good anti-armor. I could, I could double-check that. But it did go to the same spot, so... There's the GG. This one can dive too? How low can they sink? Fight us face to face already! But it's still a tank. Can't stay down there for long. Aim for the radiator, Claude. Try to get behind them. Good idea. Still. We'll catch up by tailing behind. We need to predict where it'll surface, or make it surface. Either way, it's our move now. Alright. So, that camp is gonna get blown back. Oh, wait. Oh, you're firing on me right now? <gasps> hey, 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 I need you to stop that. How dare you? How do you try and ruin my plan by taking Luf out? Oh, I was like, I hear Silvaria charging up. Someone's about to regret their life. Okay, a grenade on the cactus. I mean, these are Paragon grenades. Eh, okay. I mean, there's still, a, like, a Lancer's right there. Like... <laughs> I, my radiator is front and center facing that Lancer. Is he not gonna do it though? That was cute. Can we, ah, oh, the accuracy on it, not great. But I think we hit one and it did that massive chunk. Oh, no, there's, there we go. Goodbye, Dan. It's been real. You, uh, you did what you were supposed to do. You got Riley all the way over there. Alright. 
So, just for good measure, like, I could miss one, and I would just reset and just do the same exact thing over again. But just to save time and energy, we're gonna hit him with one of those. Do an attack weak spot on Luke. This is an order. Find their openings. We need to take them out. And then of course. Blast boost. This is an order. We want as many as we can in that blast radius. Now, when I did this on the normal, like, version, I didn't have this ridiculous mortar. <laughs> so, I don't actually know, like, with how strong this one is, this might do it. Claude, I think those holes on the front of the enemy tank are the air valves. We shoot into them. Maybe we can disable the intakes and keep them from diving. Good idea, Miles. Let's try it out. I know I suggested it, but how do we hit such a small target? Miles, did you forget? Squad E has a living legend, Dead Eye Kai. You heard him. I've got this. One shot, one kill. Huh? I never distance. got that conversation. Okay, not that it's really gonna matter, but cool. <laughs> All right, so if I target just a radiator with the damage we have, it's a one, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> this is a one and done, huh? As long as I hit the right spot. Maggot. Gotta hit all, I, I think I missed one. Party's over. Yup, I missed one. Well, that is why, that is why we made a save. Because there's really nothing we did. I just, it's just time consuming to run Riley all the way up there and do it again. But real quick, before I, uh, I go for the kill, I am very curious. Like here's, here's that, that air intake thing again. I kind of want to, like it, it mentioned a sniper. I don't know if it has to be a sniper. But I kind of want to, like, run up to it with Silvaria. Where am I? Oh, I see. Okay. And possibly beam weapon it? I just want to know if there's any, like, extra dialogue for firing in there. That's kind of neat. Like, I didn't know this was, this was a thing. When they open and close, oh, that's annoying. So you gotta get it. Huh. <laughs> gotta get it? Very cool. I honestly have no idea. No, no, I don't think it did. <laughs> it's still opening and closing. Well, there, there was an attempt. I guess it has to be a sniper. Um, which I can't really get over there safely. But the real, well, How I mean, Kiara. I? And Kiara's not a Valkyria. She doesn't have, well, she's a side. scout. She has a pretty nice threat. chunk of HP. But it's not. Valkyria HP, you know? Get over there. But she does have this fancy crossbow. So let's see here. There! Oh. I don't know if I missed, or it just may be, like I said, maybe it has to be a sniper. All right. Pick up the pace. Well, Loof. We got the accuracy up. I don't know how much that's actually gonna help me. I'm gonna get a little bit closer. Cause I hit the the two on this side and the one on the front on the other side. So if I go I 
move in like more than like right here maybe Out of my sight. did i get all of them i think i got all of them i will not let you interfere no more do you have any idea how long Albert and I have waited for this moment? We shall spark a scientific revolution to take the world by storm. The promises we made, the dreams we shared, they're finally coming true. Oh, if only Albert could see this, he should be here with me. Why did you do it, Al? Why did you deny me? I remember that day. In that backwater Gallian sweatshop you called a factory. I offered you my hand. But you brushed it aside. You said you'd never join the Empire. Then you twisted the knife and told me you had no intention of finishing our studies. Why did I go? I groveled at the feet of those pompous Imperials to rise through the ranks. And for what? It was all for you. To create the perfect environment for us to complete our research. We wouldn't have had to worry about funding, or deadlines, or red tape, or ethics. I set the stage for us, and waited for you to join me. But you, Albert Miller, you betrayed me. You abandoned our dreams! It was only logical that you die. Against my wishes, you tried to kill our precious research! Our dream! And if that wasn't cruel enough, you told me the Azure Light should never be born! That it wasn't meant to shine on this world! You claim it should not exist for the sake of your daughter and her entire generation! On that day, your body died, but your legacy lives on! Just look at that beautiful our research, our hearts and souls made manifest! Our dream is finally being realized! That's right, Al! This is the light of our creation! The future we dreamed of! I forgive you for everything. Let's start over. Let's wipe the slate clean! All right, so yeah, we got all of it. It's quiet. Did we really stop the tank? Bravo, Claude! Victory is ours! That was a stronger enemy than any we'd ever faced. But there was still no match for Squad E. Yeah, it's thanks to all of you. Now we can go save Angie. Wait a minute. Where's Riley? I can't get through to her. Is she still on the Centurion? Miles, head for the ship. I know it's dangerous, but please. You got it, Claude. Come what may. I'm ready to follow you to the ends of the Earth. Something I actually recently was reading that I didn't realize throughout the entirety of the story uh, is that... A, the Empire's Worst Nightmare trophy. Okay, there's one. Well, I, th I actually think, shouldn't that have been two? Maybe it'll give it to me in a separate spot. Um, but the final flame that the Valkyrie, like, they, they blow themselves up in this big blast. That isn't the only thing these bombs are. So, like, the, the research they're using was finding a way to force that out, but also pumping shitloads of Ragnite into the Valkyra's body to make it even worse. That was in the glossary page um, for the the Valkyra bomb. So it's not just the final flame. It's the final flame, 
with a bunch of shit pumped into it to make it even bigger. Which I thought was kind of neat. 12k renown. And uh, from here on out, uh, everything up until like the, the epilogue cutscene is the entire is entirely the same so i'm gonna skip all of that um i left all the map dialogue in even though it was all the same um just to kind of complete the map but everything up until the actual last last cutscene is exactly the same so instead of leaving in like 20 minutes of the same stuff we're gonna skip it and get right to the uh, to the true ending. first set out, all we really knew was that we had something worth fighting for. None of us could have foreseen what the fight would cost us. And maybe... Maybe we'll never know if it changed us for the better. But in the end... Through all the hope, all the tragedy. The things I hold on to are the memories of my friends, of their smiles. It was a battlefield, but it was where we grew up. the true end to the game so everything else is the same except for the last little post bit you can see everyone being alive well except raz of course he's just omitted from the list which is unfortunate like i knew there was a true ending to the game and i was kind of hoping it would be like an ending where raz makes a return like right at the end and have a just nice happy like feel good ending i mean it was still a feel good ending but just without raz they locked it behind like the the a hard version of the final fight or whatever but hey whatever i don't mind i actually really enjoy how much they give you to do like after you complete the story of the game and i'm noticing in here they show everyone here is alive like including the like navy captains and whatnot and they but they don't put the dlc characters in there like silvaria nicola chiara none of them were there but of course you know what i'll make a new file for the real completed save 
This... This game. You know, like, I, I, I talked about my, my feelings about it. Um, during the credits when we beat the main story. And... Yeah, let, the, the real, the real clear picture. Look at that. 85 hours. Oh, and look at the final page. Headquarters has decorated you with this medal. Congratulations. War correspondent. And that should, with that... Eastern Theater Service Medal. Well, hold on, hold on. It's coming, it's coming. Distinguished Service Medal. Rare Chronograph. War Hero. Personnel updated, and there it is! Valkyrian Chronicler, the Platinum Trophy. I love this illustration on the on the end, like with all their the silhouette and the sunset. But let's check headquarters one last time. But you know, I was what I was saying is um you can see the ridiculous amount of cash and experience I have just stockpiled. Um, okay. I let's see. I think I ultimately said that Valkyrie Chronicles Three is my favorite, but I don't know if I can say that anymore. With all the stuff you can do, all the DLC, all the extra post-game stuff, I don't know if I can pick one or the other. I love them both so much for completely different reasons. So like. I honestly think that they both tie. To me, I think they both tie for being my favorite. Like, they definitely beat out one. And then, like, almost any video game is better than two. But, man. Was there, no. Was there a decal? Am I going to decal for no reason? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to decal for no reason. What, uh, what, what, what do we just get rewarded? Oh, a chronograph. There it is. Rare chronograph. Oh, it's not even like that good, but sure, whatever. That's what you get. Uh, and then, oh, I want the decorations page. There. I want to see them. But that is, that is Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, two months, just about. Uh, I wanted to get this done quicker, but, you know, toward the end here, uploading every single day, uh, really, really, I, I felt the burnout. So I, I waned in the uploads at the, at the end, but that didn't mean we weren't gonna get through it, because here we are, at the end, decorations, Eastern Theater Service Medal for, uh, until the campaign's end. Is this the, I think this is the true ending medal that you get. And the Distinguished Service Medal is Exceptional Skill. One of these is A-ranking everything. Hold on, you know what? They, they correspond to the trophies themselves. Oh my god, that Platinum Trophy. I don't Platinum any games. There I very, very few games. Like, I definitely, like, probably if I sat here and counted them, only would be one hand. But I don't, like, go all achievements on many games, but this game... Ooh. Ooh, and it's not really a bullshit one to do, either. Uh, all Decorations was one of the last ones. A rank on all missions... Oh, and all event scenes was, I think, what those last ones were. Just, like, seeing everything, A ranking everything, and then the true ending were the last three we got there. And there was one last personnel upgrade, or update. Upon returning to Hoffman with Riley, he helps in rebuilding the Miller Company factory as its manager with help and familiar chaos from former squaddies. And Riley, uh, despite her grave injuries, she manages to recover and return to Hoffman. Claude proposes at the Star Child Festival and she accepts with a quiet nod. That's cute. But there we have it. I want to thank you all for for watching both this video 
the uh, the entire series and just supporting the channel in general. It's always just such a good feeling to, you know, finally close the book and like legitimately in this case because the the game is formatted in, in as a book uh, on projects. It wasn't the longest project I've ever done, but I've, I've had so much fun doing this. This game is incredible. Uh, one of my favorites, for sure. Like, the series, it's it's such a sad thing, too, because... I've been doing Valkyrie Chronicles on the channel, like, playing through all the games uh, for, like, two-ish years now. I don't remember whenever I started one. And then I did two... And then I was like, oh shit, four's coming out. I gotta do three immediately. So we went from two, three, and four back to back to back. And there's nothing... There's nothing left. Like, technically, the Valkyrian Revolution is there. But I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> um, but it's, like, it's sad. Like, it's awesome to finish a project. But it's sad that... Valkyria Chronicles content is just it's done until we get a fifth game hopefully we get a fifth game it's just that's a wrap but thank you all for watching I appreciate every single one of you for just if you if you lurk you just you just like watching in, in silence doing what you do comments likes whatever it's all supportive uh, to, to me and the channel, so thank you. I really, really do appreciate it. But that's gonna be it. Thank you all for watching again, and I will hopefully see you in, uh, in future, future projects.